Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special comedian coming to the stage right now. It's Alex Taylor! Hello, and welcome to the Chuckle Hut. Uh, I am your most fabulous host, and you are my little darlings, and we're going to get right into this. Okay, I'm going to be doing like a little different sort of set today. I'm going to be doing like a story time set, so I'm basically going to be telling a story, and then in the middle, I'm just going to sprinkle some jokes to keep the comedy alive and the darkness at bay. Okay, let's get into it. Are we excited? Yes, so this story has three main characters. The first is me, Alex, the illustrious Prince Charming. The second is the lowly but wonderful best friend, Michael. And the third is my girlfriend and also a bitch, Sally. Hm. If I had to pick two adjectives to describe her, I wouldn't. <laughs> Uh, Sally has this uh, wonderful yeah. habit of uh, uh, ignoring me for hours at a time, and then when I come up to tell her, like, hey, this is making me feel bad, you know, uh, she'll just basically Wait. sort of uh, beat me with whatever object is closest to her. And then w w when she's done that, I'll kind of come back and I'll be like, hey, you know, here's some gifts because of the thing I did earlier, and she'll just grab those and beat me with it. Oh. No! Not the chrysanthemums! It's a death by bouquet! Yeah, but she tries to uh, shame me for the jokes I make, and I, I don't think that's right, you know, because I like jokes, and uh, I get angry, and in my anger, I'll go home and I'll just pummel my wood. Oh, what time is it? It's a, uh, it's a uh, joke o'clock. My friends, you're so lucky. You're so. <laughs> okay. Um, he burst through the door, and promptly cracked into a wank. Poor Ben. It had been a long day at the paper mill. No one had remembered his birthday. Not even Debbie, lovely Debbie from IT. Lovely Debbie with the lovely perfume from IT had remembered his birthday. So he cried loudly and climaxed loudly uh, and he fell asleep. Fortunately, all 14 members of his surprise birthday party managed a hushed exit. They were, they were in the room, weren't they? So, um, yeah, comedy, story time. So, Alex and Sally were having one of their uh, classic fights. Alex left early for work because he couldn't stand being in the same room as her, but halfway he sort of realized he had lots of things to say to her, and he, he, he you know, but as much as there are problems in their relationship, he did genuinely love her and he wanted to be together. So he turned around that car and he went all the way back home, but as he was walking through the door, he noticed something strange at the window. So he was like, oh, you know, wh wh what's that? And uh, it was his best friend Mike wrapped around her like the backstabbing snake he is. <laughs> Hey, Eve, eat of my apple. Yeah, come, Nagini. Not such a great guy after all. He, uh, Alex walked away and he did what he, the best he could do and he just, well, he expressed himself. Ah. I mean, his first oh. instinct upon seeing the pair was to just run in there and beat them, ah. beat Michael to death, Sally style. And by that, I mean with like the object closest to him. But unfortunately, the only object he could see was this like toy meerkat in the garden. And frankly, he wasn't up for that because he likes toy meerkats, you know, and what have, what have they ever done for him apart from like trying to sell car insurance, you know? So like he, uh, he went for something more brutal and fitting. He ran in there, right? He went all the way up to them and he cried and he begged for her forgiveness. He said, holy fuck, my heart feels like it's, it's coming apart at the seams. What is this pain? And just come to my gig tonight because it would mean the world to me. Uh, don't worry, she didn't actually say yes. <laughs> the night isn't gonna get any more awkward than it already is. I'm only kidding. She's right there in the audience. Hello, Sally, you fuck. Well, yeah, oh, walk away. Yeah, I'm the big man. I've got the testicles. <laughs> uh, it's just... I'm pretty sure. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure that Mike Fuck me, to be honest, because, you know, he's, because we were having our problems, you know, me and Sally, and 
and and he was well aware of that, and no doubt he used that as an in. But and, and when I say problems, I don't mean like her beating me with chrysanthemums. You know, I mean like actual problems. That's just sort of like our thing. Sometimes I'd I'd like to uh, like just embarrass her in public. You know, like I'd I'd, I'd run up to her and I'd I just like, dip her nose in ice cream, or like if I knew she was meeting her friends, I'd I'd just turn up uninvited and naked. Uh, just because I thought it was funny, and uh, to be fair, it, it is funny, it's just... She'd get embarrassed and she wouldn't talk to me for hours, and that's fine, but, you know, I'd prod and I'd poke, because I guess my ego just, like, can't accept it, you know, and and then she'd, she'd you know, she'd beat me with whatever she can get her hands on, but she'd be calm after about. she got out of her system, you know, and we'd just, doing? we'd be fine. Nemo, you drive across the ocean and you touch my ass. <laughs> She doesn't shame me for my jokes, you know. I, I just get I get paranoid when she doesn't laugh, and and I, you know, I I got to go and take it out in an alleyway somewhere, and you know because I'm crazy, that's not her fault. Our last fight was pretty awful, and I said some things that I regret, and I guess I understand why she did what she did. <laughs> kind of. I mean, I don't blame her for doing what she did, because I know how he is. I guess I just wish it hadn't happened, that's all. Punchline. <laughs> What's the punchline? Fuck you! Yeah, it's 